Good morning, everybody. Um, nobody's here yet, so give folks a couple of minutes. clock says 10. Um, firstly, I want to kind of apologize to you guys because I said I was going to stream on Friday for sure, and I did not end up doing that. Uh, I'm kind of in the middle of a 13-day work week right now, so Thursday, Thursday was a little rough. So, I apologize. I will try to uh, <coughs> get on Twitter if that happens in the future and at least let people know that there's not a stream happening. But. Um, I haven't had too much time to really get an awful lot of stuff done, but also a lot of the stuff that I would be doing in Skyhold right now, I would like on screen because it is plot stuff. So. By which I mean while I am streaming. Um, one of the things I do is obviously I redid a little bit of the decor because I don't like the plain old regular Inquisition stuff and due to the gold bug thing there. Is Dalish. And the heraldry is Dalish. Because this is what I did the first time. I was like, I'm going to play a Dalish Elf and go all out. And that's the end of it. Okay. So, first things first, Josephine is going to ask questions. I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. 
It's the Orlesian national pastime. <laughs> Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Exactly what do you mean? How is it more dangerous than usual? The Empress is in the middle of a civil war. Her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard, seeks to take her throne by force. Leliana reports that a group of elves has been sabotaging both armies, drawing out the hostilities. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Thedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. A grand masquerade? I need to go shopping. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Or perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. I'm on it. The funny thing about that is, Josephine starts talking about, you know, Liliana found a group of elves sabotaging both sides. You never see them. The three men of the the three men of the Dales, which I assume are what she's talking about. You don't really see them closely enough to see if they're elves. Like, on the one hand, they gotta be. But on the other hand, you know, since when have people ever uh, left left a name for the people that effectively own it? Can you arrange what we discussed earlier, Ambassador? I found the money. That's all. The later. Inquisition will compensate the families of those we lost at Haven. Thank you. Amulet of power. Cool. Alright. Um, all of this is relatively later. I actually expected there to be more of a uh, cutscene of some kind in here, but that's okay. Um... the rescue efforts. Have they found anyone alive? Excavation is slow, as you can imagine. I don't remember what's best here, so we're gonna go there. Inquisitor. We can always use more resources. Inquisitor. Especially this early in the game. Right, I also unlocked the fellow mire. So I think All right. what I'm going to do this time once I'm done running around Skyhold is head to the Fellow Mire um, because that one is a relatively map to get through. So I will probably, you know, run around Skyhold, explore Skyhold a little, talk to some folks, and then head out to the Fellow Mire. Because that, uh... Oh! Oh! So here's another thing. Um, excuse me. Because my Inquisitors always talk to Solus so much, um, almost every time, the first time I go to talk to him when you get to Skyhold, you get his uh, creepy little character cutscene my thing that happens when you're BFFs. So let's let's see if that is uh, still the case this time. I suspect it will be. Hello. Uh no, okay, not yet. What do you know about the Fae? A great deal, for my wondering. 
There are a few hard facts, but I can share what I've learned. I'd like to know more about the breach. Simply put, it is a tear in the veil between this world and the Fae, allowing spirits to enter the world physically. Small tears occur naturally when magic weakens the veil, or when spirits cluster in an area that has seen many deaths. But your anchor, as Corypheus calls it, allows you some control over the breach. That suggests it was deliberate. Maybe I have to leave Skyhold and come back for all of this to trigger? I'm not sure. I'd like to know more about the Veil. Circle mages call it a barrier between this world and the Fae. But according to my studies in ancient elven lore, that is a vast oversimplification. Without it, imagine if spirits entered freely. The Fae was not a place one went, but a state of nature like the wind. I don't know if I can imagine that. Try. Imagine if spirits were not a rarity, but a part of our natural world. Like a fast-flowing river. Yes, it can drown careless children, but it can also carry a merchant's goods or grind a miller's flour. That is what the world could be if the veil were not present. For better or worse. Yeah, Solus. I'd like to know more about demons. Chantry says that demons take the natural world and seek to bring their chaos and destruction to the living. But such simplistic labels misconstrue their motivations, and in so doing, do all a great disservice. Spirits wish to join the living. And a demon is that wish gone wrong. Is there a way to coexist? To live with them? If not in peace, at least without such active confrontation? Not in the world we know today. The veil creates a barrier that makes true understanding most unlikely. But the question is a good one, and it matters that you thought to ask. Okay. Talk later. Goodbye. See you, bro. <gasps> Problematic fave number one. And it's mine. Fit for a king, eh? Or an inquisition. Sarah! So, Inquisitor. It's Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' archdemon, is it? <laughs> Draste, what do I step in? She says, as if it's Ilare's fault. I've been through a lot. Yes, Corypheus was a surprise. Poor thing. No, a surprise would be, oh, I stepped in dog shite. No one says, oh, a Magister God monster, I'm surprised. Impossible things aren't surprises. The ancient thing trying to kill us seems pretty real. Don't get me started. Oh, wait, too late, right? A Magister who cracked the Black City. It's a hazy dream, right? I mean, if it's real, real, then the seat of the maker, real thing. A seat needs a book, <laughs> so the maker, real thing. I love that. Fairy stories that about line. the start and end of the world, real things. It's too far, isn't it? I just want to plug the sky hole rubbish so I can go play. Not that he cares. Well, no, he probably cares, but he doesn't mind. You joined to help the little people caught up in this. But do you believe it or not? In Andraste? Of course. But you doubt what you're seeing and hearing? It can't be true, true. Even fanatics don't want to be this right. <coughs> Look, I have arrows. I can make this Corypheus believe in those. Good enough? Please Absolutely. Good enough. Keep calling it nonsense. That perspective will keep the Inquisition grounded. Oh, I can do that. Sure could use a few more people shouting no. We fight, the bad things go away, everyone calms down, and everything goes back to normal. A nice, well-paid normal. She's so optimistic, it hurts me. Like, she's gotta be the youngest member of the Inquisition. You're starting to not sound completely crazy. I know, scary, innit? So bring him on. But first, food. I'm starving. A 
I can show you where the kitchens are once I stop getting pot on a brazier. It was a mistake to use Haven as a base of operations. The town was completely indefensible. Is this how you cope? Rude. It was a bad location. We should have moved sooner. You left yourself vulnerable to attack. It was a miscalculation, one that I'm sure you won't repeat. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. I know how this is going to end, but I also know that Ilari is emotional. For every person I saved, two more were cut down. I failed them. You haven't failed them, my dear. The men and women who fight for you gave their lives oh God, for a great nice. cause, and they fought to the end. The rest still fight, and you will fail them if you give up now. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first, and teach them to fear us. You can become the leader the faithful require, but you must do it soon. That was much nicer than I was expecting. So, this is Skyhold. So it is. Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. We'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. On the other hand, that means he can see us from miles away. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. If you were a real Grey Warden, you would. <sighs> you see this as a personal insult, don't you? If it's not personal for you, maybe it should be. The people flock to your banner, eager to fight for the Herald of Andraste. Their faith is a leash, and your Inquisition has taken hold of it. Tell me honestly, are you what they say you are? Andraste's chosen. No. I wish they'd understand that I'm really nobody. You're somebody. Don't you see what you are to them? Without you, they'd be consumed by despair. We all would. They need you to be Andraste's messenger. It gives them hope. The truth doesn't matter. Then why did you ask? Ah, uh, listen to me talk. Your time is valuable and I've wasted enough of it. I, honestly, I can't even decide why I dislike Blackwell as much as I do. Because... It is absolutely partly because of the Grey Warden thing, because I got real attached to the Grey Wardens in Origins, but I'm also real attached to, you know, all of Inquisition and the Elves, and I like Solith plenty. I don't know, maybe it's because Solus is also a nerd and I'm weak for nerds. Hey, Varric! Let's have a chat. There we go, default. Uh oh. Load, please. There we go. I don't want to spend five minutes fighting. Inquisitor, with it. meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. Or unfriendly advice, as the case may be. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Corypheus <sighs> has already killed the Divine along with countless others. And he'll kill a lot more unless we stop him. You've already sealed the breach. That's damned impressive. I could barely get my friends to stop fighting. It was an accident. Still, if you think I can help. This Varric said bastard. that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection. Varric's like, I need a drink. 
Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well. Yeah. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. Are you sure? I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Honestly, Corypheus he should be more worried. Certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Awesome. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. Eh. You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. Maybe OMG. his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back. Or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead. I swear it. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the exalted march never came. Luckily. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. There he was. was. Crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him except this insane need to start a war no one could win. And honestly, at that point, I kind of... Like, I really liked Anders in Awakening. But by the time 2 rolled around, I was like, mm, he's a lot. I'm, I'm not... I, heard you had I don't dislike him, but... Where are they now? He's real intense. I had my friend Adeline take him as far from Orlais as possible. When all the wardens started acting strangely, I had to keep my family safe. Your only Fenris remaining family. Killed himself to protect me. I didn't Ow. want to give him that chance. <sighs> yeah. Huck's life sucks so much. Assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. <laughs> I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general, but he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. And how much does that have to do with the fact that the Inquisitor is an elf? We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Who does not follow Andraste. Okay, um, those stairs are still fucked, huh? Okay. Guess we're gonna see. I'll go down through the tavern. I think that should work. The door doesn't work. Okay, where can I go from here without dying? Majestic. Those stairs aren't fucked. How is a Good. Place like this ever lost? Okay. I think I talked to everybody up here. Except Harding. <laughs> Scout Harding. Your worship. Hi. Shouldn't you be out there scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> so, 
Who's Scout Harding, really? I love Me? her. She's great. Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Which was probably then I a lot. On. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that thing out there. What's been going on? Seeker Cassandra came through here, looking like a storm cloud. That's just her face, though, isn't it? Basically. Okay, I'll bother you later. I have to go. I love Scout Harding. She's great. Surgeon! Inquisitor? Oh god, this Is one... Is something I can do for you? I should really this conversation hurts a little bit. Like, of course, but... Do we have many injured men? Fewer by the day. The most grievously injured did not survive the journey to Skyhold. As for the rest, they either heal or... Or they don't. I try to make the passing painless. I haven't seen you before. The commander brought me up from the refugee camps. I'd been helping the pilgrims in simple ways. Setting broken bones, simple amputations and such. We need all the help we can get. You I love this. This is this this you kills will let me. The mage healers deal with this. Magic can't cure everything, and we shouldn't rely on it. Because science, your worship, is the way of the future. Yes, but good health isn't magic. It's diet, diet exercise, exercise, and, and the balance, balance of the, of the humors. humors. <laughs> As you were, your worship. I'm out. <laughs> Don't talk to me about balancing humors. I can't. <laughs> Send men to scout the area. We need to know what's out there. Yes, sir. Commander, soldiers have been assigned temporary quarters. Very good. I'll need an update on the armory as well. Now. Whoops. <laughs> he probably just wants to know what's going on, we Colin. We set up as best we could at Haven. Could never prepare for an archdemon or whatever it was. With some warning, we might have. He doesn't look like he ever sleeps. Do you ever sleep? If Carithia strikes oh. again, we may not be able to withdraw. And I wouldn't want to. We must be ready. Work on Skyhold is underway. Guard rotations established. We should have everything on course within the week. We will not run from here, Inquisitor. We shouldn't have to. How many were lost? Most of our people made it to Skyhold. It could have been worse. Morale was low, but it's improved greatly since you accepted the role of Inquisitor. Everyone has so much faith in my leadership. I hope I'm ready. You won't have to carry the Inquisition alone. Although it must feel like it. We needed a leader. You have proven yourself. You responded quickly to the attack on Haven. Without that, so many more would have died. I'm grateful for any help you can give. Thank you, Inquisitor. I will do everything I can to ensure the security of our people. You have my word. Does that include, like, getting some sleep sometimes? Because it should include sleep. Please get some sleep. This thing is not a stray puppy you can make into a pet. It has no business being here. Wouldn't you say the same of an apostate? Inquisitor, and she I just wondered stares. if Cole was perhaps a mage, given his unusual abilities. He can cause people to forget him, or even fail entirely to notice him. These are not the abilities of a mage. It seems that Cole is a spirit. It is a demon. If you prefer. Although the truth is somewhat more complex. I'm not sure how much more complexity I need, Solus. Indeed, my dear. He may call it whatever he likes, but it is still a threat. In fact, his nature is not so easily defined. Speak plainly, Solus. What are we dealing with? Demons normally enter this world by possessing something. In their true form, they look bizarre. Monstrous. But you claim Cole looks like a young man. Is it possession? No. He has possessed nothing and no one. And yet he appears human in all respects. Cole is unique, Inquisitor. 
More than that, he wishes to help. I suggest you allow him to do so. Explain. What do you mean by possession? Spirits and demons cross over from the Fade by attaching themselves to something in this world. This is not news. But Cole has willfully manifested in human form with... Really? The demons who came through the breach, or through the rifts, weren't possessing anything. These demons were drawn through against their will, driven mad by this world. But Cole predates the breach. From what we can tell, he has lived here for months, perhaps years. He looks like a young man. For all intents and purposes, he is a young man. It is remarkable. I should hear what Cole has to say for himself. Where is he now? If none of us remember him, he could be anywhere. Spirits. Meanwhile, Solus. Haven. He's like, I got this. So many soldiers fought to protect the pilgrims so they could escape. Choking fear. Can't think from the medicine, but the cuts rack me with every heartbeat. Hot, white, pain. Everything burns. I can't. I can't. I'm going to. I'm dying. I I'm dead. You're feeling their pain. It's louder this close, with so many of them. Would you like to go somewhere more comfortable? Yes, but here is where I can help. Every breath slower. Like lying in a warm bath, sliding away. Smell of my daughter's hair when I kiss her goodnight. Gone. Cracked brown pain. Dry, scraping, thirsty. Here. Cole is such an interesting Thank character. You. It's all right. She won't remember me. You're using your powers as a spirit to help people? Yes. I used to think I was a ghost. I didn't know. I made mistakes, but I made friends too. Then a Templar proved I wasn't real. I lost my friends. I lost everything. I learned how to be more like what I am. It made me different, but stronger. I can feel more. I can help. I wish... I kind of wish they elaborated more on Cole's... state on his abilities if you're willing, and the Inquisition could use your Like, I love what they did give us, yes. but... Helping. I help the hurt, the helpless. There's someone hurts. It hurts. It hurts. Someone make it stop hurting. Make her, please. That's the same as the assassin weapon. The healers have done all they can. The same. Uh, it will model. take him hours to die. Every moment will be agony. He wants mercy. Help. Thank God Cole thought to explain this out loud, right? You say he won't die for hours yet, but you can't know that for certain. His body is failing. He could recover. Or the healers could find another way to help him. How do you know? I don't. And neither do you. That's part of life. Try. I want to stay. I love that because, you know, Cole, Cole greatly approves no matter what you do there. But I love that that's what makes him say he wants to stay because that, that sounds to me like he's going, oh, oh, this one wants to, this, this person wants to prevent suffering 
and also, you know, let people live if at all possible. I don't know. It. I. I like Roderick the way they put was that together. Sorry before he died. Did he tell you why he was sorry? Blood everywhere. Monsters, madness, dying. We're all dying. The Herald stands against it, and heads turn. Desperate and simple, pure. Voices in the Chantry. Years since I'd sung the song and felt it flowing through me. But this is real. This is real. So long since I'd felt it. Falling, flying, faith. And I fought him. The Maker, forgive me. I hope I did enough. Oof. Okay, I'm gonna... Okay. I'm gonna go... Library. That's where I haven't gone. Also this. News from Thetis. Haven destroyed by Darkest Menace. Yada yada. Moving on. Their codex entries are great. Admittedly. Okay, so. Haven't talked to... Varric now that he's inside. Need something? Tell me a story. I've tale of the champion, and I have a few questions. That's a pretty common reaction. Go ahead. <laughs> what happened to the mage who destroyed the Kirkwall Chantry? The book never said. He's like, I don't know. He fled Kirkwall with the mages from the Circle. Stayed with them a while, but he had to move on. Somehow a lot of mages blamed him for making them live as fugitives. Can't imagine why. I don't know where he is now, and I don't want to know. You don't want to know because you don't want to get him in trouble, or you don't want to know because... Anders. In the book, you say that first Enchanter Orsino turned himself into a giant monster made of corpses. How? Why? Do I look like an expert on magical weirdness to you? <laughs> well, I can't tell you how. I love it. For the why, all I can say is he was desperate. There's no way Hawk really could have killed the Arish Shock. It would have started a war with the Kunari. I was told later that the Kunari disavowed his actions. Apparently the Arashok didn't get permission before he attacked Kirkwall and the Kuhn didn't want another exalted march. When they finally sent a ship to haul the Red Dreadnought away, they just said, We will never speak of this again. As far as I can tell, that's the Kuhn's version of an apology. Eh, yeah, we can ask Bull. Where are the rest of Hawk's associates now? Meryl decided to look after the elves left homeless by the fighting. She's done a pretty good job of keeping them away from the mages and Templars so far. Does that mean she she's technically a keeper now? Avoiding stupid human battles with her old Dalish clan. Fenris has kept himself busy hunting down the Tevinter slavers who came south. That's my boy. Refugees. I'm not sure exactly where he is at the moment. You can usually follow the trail of corpses, though. Good. Isabella went back to the raiders. She's calling herself an admiral now. I don't know if she's actually in charge or just has a really big hat. Might be the same thing, honestly. With pirates, Hawk's it's the same thing. was off on some warden business near the Anderfell's border last I knew. Aveline is still guard captain. I'm pretty sure Kirkwall would fall into the sea if she quit her job. Fair. Okay, let's go to the Falamire. Uh, no, no. Library, then Falamire. I'm awake. I need more coffee. Okay. Come in here. Bounce past Solus. No. That way. I always mix up these three doorways because the room is a giant circle. Dorian, talk to me. We fell out of the fade and I'm scared. Brilliant, isn't it? Or rather, the past, moment, you're the future, to the future. In a world gone mad. It's a hard coffee. That should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? I was distracted, that's all. <laughs> distracted? By my wit and charm? 
I have plenty of both. So you do. How interesting to find someone so aware of his strengths. <laughs> I'm a man of many talents. God. What can I say? I always assumed the elder one behind the Venatori was a magister. But this is something else completely. In Tevinter, they say the Chantry's tales of magisters starting the blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very magisters, a dark spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the blight? You know how it is. Not us. I do. Know. They say Dark Spawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Carinthus in the bed is, the world, is one of the magisters who entered the Black City and he's Dark Spawn, what other explanation is there? We only know what Corypheus claims to be. True. He might be a convincing liar, or delusional, or insane. But how many delusional maniacs are going to have that knowledge? He broke open the Fade. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth, but I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. Last I checked, the Blights hadn't actually destroyed the world. Not for lack of trying. If they were more clever, they'd have unleashed something that would really do the job. <laughs> no one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? That's not why I'm doing this. I knew there was something clever about you. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. As a postscript. <laughs> uh. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? Technically. I should thank you. The way things ended in Redcliffe, you could have demanded anything you wished. Yet you chose to make us equal partners. I was not expecting that. You rebelled for good reason. I'm pleased to hear you say that, Inquisitor. <laughs> I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you. As you're no doubt well aware. Oh, yeah. You were once a Grey Warden. Mine is an unusual circumstance, Inquisitor. I wish they Normally would explain this more. Normally one is part of the Order until death. But long ago I found myself stripped of what made me a Warden. They tried to reinitiate me, but nothing worked. Nor could they figure out how it happened. But so I, I was sent know. to the Circle of Magi. The first warden ever to be kicked out. <laughs> Quite the achievement. You sound happy about it. Becoming a warden seemed like a dream when I was first conscripted. Towards the end, however, my brothers and sisters, they felt I had somehow cheated death. I was glad to leave. It also made me unique in the circle. I had an opportunity to do more than I ever could as a warden. You mean you began the Mage Rebellion? I pushed for our vote to free the Circles of Magi. But I cannot claim sole responsibility for what followed. Still, despite all the chaos, I would do it again. What happened had to happen. You're not still the Grand Enchanter, then? Any claim I had to the title ended along with the Circles of Magi. Although some still call me by it. Perhaps the Circles will one day be resurrected. If so, another will take the position. Until that time, I lead my fellow mages by default. I will do what I can for them. You believe they'll recreate the Circle of Magi after all this? It depends on who the next Divine is, and what she offers. They can't go back to the way things were. 
But endless warfare benefits no one. That is why I agreed to Justinia's conclave. There must be another solution. If only. I've been meaning to ask, how exactly did the Venatori take control in Redcliffe? Mages constantly found their way to us while we were there. Stragglers, most of them strangers. I had no way of knowing some were actually to winter. They spread whispers, encouraged talk of an alliance, and we were desperate. I'm not proud of our choice, but we were certain Templars were coming. It could have ended far worse. I, yes, you're welcome. I trust everything is well with the mages. There have been a few scuffles with your Templars, but overall, it is going well. A few scuffles. I'll leave you to it. Before you go, Inquisitor, a question. In Redcliffe, after we left, did you perhaps speak with King Alistair? Considering who you are? She wasn't don't. in the mood to talk. It's just that I knew his father, Marek, back when I was a warden. You want me to smooth things over with him? Introduce you? No. It's too late for that. I only wanted to know if he was happy. His father had such hopes for him. Don't mind me, Inquisitor. The concerns of an old woman. Nothing more. The concerns of an old woman. Who is secretly the mother of the king. I wish I could remember the exact... Uh, the exact way you get that information. I don't remember if it was in an interview or what, but that one, that, that came from the writers. Fiona is Alistair's mother. All right. I'm sorry. So am I. Time to be judged. Inquisitor. I was not expecting a visit. You had little interest in speaking to me privately before. But as dear Josephine says, it's never too late to make a friend. I hope I'm not disrupting anything. The commander was just delivering the names of those we lost at Haven. You must blame me for this. No. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents. And instead, we lost Haven. More likely they would have stayed out there, died, and we would have lost Haven anyway. You don't know that. Their lives could have bought Haven a small chance. My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Except Ilari is all heart. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus? We are better than Corypheus. Weak ankles, strong heart. Oh, the Andraste statue isn't up yet. Which... That doesn't surprise me, because this is Skyhold, and, you know, given who it belonged to before but that means that that was specifically Leliana wanted a statue of Andraste to put up in her... Uh, I don't want to call it an office, but it's kind of an office. Anyway. Um, who haven't I talked to? Bull, Cassandra... Get some people in there to clean that up. Gosh. Bull. So, 
That Tevinter guy sent you into the future? Yeah. <laughs> Every time I think I understand magic, the rules change. <laughs> I know, right? If I were a mage, I'd just throw fire at people. That's honest. <laughs> That's honest. <laughs> oh yeah, and Cassandra is gonna flip out on Varric, right? Right. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. That was a terrible hook, Cassandra. Me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Hey, enough. You're taking his side? I said enough. We needed someone to lead this inquisition. Hawk was our only hope. He was the champion of Kirkwall. The mages respected him. And you kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Now. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept. What? That the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he... That he... Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. She said Even to the Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. That's unworthy of you. You can disapprove all you want. He's still here for a reason. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. Cassandra never really likes my Inquisitors at the beginning of the game, but then they're BFFs later. You know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, he'd be dead too. You people have done enough to him. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I just explained what was at stake, if I just made him understand. But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. No, and you threw a book at his face. I'm such a fool. What if you hadn't believed him and you tracked Hawk down? Honestly? Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. He absolutely he would not. the Mage Rebellion, after all. He wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk, or even Varric. Not truly. That is the lowest I should chair. have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. What? Have you looked at our Inquisition, Cassandra? We're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. Well. You're not what I'd pictured. <laughs> but if I've learned anything, it's Would you that picture I know a human? less than Cause, nothing. Uh... It's fine, she's learning. She's still one of my faves. Okay. Time to go to the Fallowmire. I've spent enough time in Skyhold. For now. Oh, no, wait. I still have... Ooh, level 10. I have, like, four rifts to close in the Hinterlands, I think. Dwarfson's Pass. That one's level 8. Hafter's Woods. I think there's an 8 and a 12. Rifts on the farm. That one's the one at Faran and Ravine, which is, like, level 12. Um, that one I need Falandaris. Okay. Or, excuse me, Falandaris. I hate it. I hate it when I think I know how to pronounce something and then I encounter it said aloud later. Falandaris. Okay. Um, no. We'll go to the Fallowmire. 
do it this way. Save our guys. Close the rest of the rifts in the hinterlands later. Okay, let's see. Who do I bring? I should bring Blackwall, I suppose. I decided that this time was going to be different, and I have brought Cassandra and Bull everywhere all the time, and I have literally never put Blackwall in my party. So I guess I start now. Oh, I have to re-equip Cole at some point. I'll do that later. Um, he is also unlikely to be in my party too much, just because I have a dual-wield rogue, so... Oh, let's have Solus, because him interacting with Blackwall is going to be hilarious. I need a rogue to put in my party first, though. This is the order that I do this in every time. Blackwall, Sarah. And I suppose Solus. Though, I have no idea what... Nah, we'll take Dorian this time. Solus doesn't usually have too much to say in the Fallowmire, if I remember correctly. Dorian has a lot to say. Mostly he's bitching about the weather, but I completely understand him and would also be bitching about the weather. Solve this mess. I can Our try. Patrols are being held hostage by Avar, barbarians from the mountains. What are they doing in a bog? That's the thing. Their leader, he wants them to fight you because you're the herald of Andraste. What do they have against Andraste? Well, the Avar think there are gods in nature, as in the sky has a god and the forest. The Avar say you're claiming to be sent by one, and they'll challenge the will of your god with their own. I think their leader's just a boastful little prick who wants to brag he killed you. That's about right. Should I autograph something for him before he tries to behead me? They think readings for the weak. You know, scholars, lowlanders, or legion peasants. <clears throat> Getting to our troops won't be easy. You'll have to fight your way or through legion undead. Peasants. Wait, you're not squeamish about undead, are you? Hilaria's like, eh, corpses. They're only corpses possessed by spirits. Right. Nothing to fear. The Avar are holed up in the castle on the other side of the Fallow Mire. Make her willing, the Inquisition's people are still alive. Hilaria's not squeamish about much. Just watching people die. That's what bugs Hilaria. For Andrastianism. Loot. And booze. A short note. Okay. I thought there was something over here. I'm wrong. I'm just thinking of that house, cabin, cottage, whatever. Fisher's End. Open the door. For a second there, I thought that was an upended bicycle. It is a goddamn spinning wheel. 
Rivain. Alfruit. Burning corpses. Look. Signs of a plague. A cheerful addition to any decent swamp. At least in the city you can find a decent healer. Out here you have what? Roots and berries? Kinda. Specifically Alfruit and Deathroot, I believe. Target. Targeting. I forget this is a thing. Can't be all of them. There must be more further in. Oh, there are. There are many. The Light of Andraste. Claimed by the Inquisition. I guess. So let's see. Fellow Meyer. There's really not much up here. Let's get that unmarked here. Give me the elf root. Ah, yes. And this is where we start getting blue vitriol, which, ah, oh, sweet, five at a time. And then, is blue vitriol tier two, I think? It's, no, it's tier one, okay. That's all right. It's pretty. And generally the tier 1 stuff is not necessarily strong, but it's decent in your uh, defense and utility slots, if you're crafting. Okay. Don't step off the bridge. Blood Lotus. I don't really need right now, but that's fine. This is... If I recall correctly, we have a locked door. Oh no, I do not. Just blocked. Not locked. The Empty Ones. Short-lived cult based in Navarra. Some confuse the Empty Ones with followers of Tevinter's old gods. They worship the blight itself. Yeah, okay. Oh no, I'm gonna sneeze. Phew! <coughs> oh, goodness. Sorry. Excuse me. Allergies. Okay. Gardner Diary. Property of Ira Gardner. Written in spidery handwriting. I love that. I've never quite decided what spidery handwriting would look like, but I love the descriptor. Hey, Sarah. Think you can take a guy out without anybody going over there? Because... No, 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 no. No, no, no. Disturbing the water draws them out. Well, we fucked up. It's fine. I should know better, I suppose. It's usually fine if you're, uh... 
computer controlled uh, AI characters go in the water, but the second you switch to one of them, it goes badly. Is that more blood lotus or a hanging corpse? Blood lotus. Blood Lotus. Back to the thoroughfare here. Boop boop. First beacon. Is that a beacon of some sort? Sure is. access to one of them because it replaced it with the rift ability. Man. This is just gonna take a little bit longer because I lost my crit. Find any more beacons we could lure the undead onto solid ground. Might be a faster fight. Keep an eye out for more then. Importantly, Veilfire and the Fallow Mire. Uh, da -da -da -da. They evoke a clear sense of panic, as if the author was trying to figure out a difficult problem. Something like that. I love how scientific they imply that magic is, and then they don't let it do the same thing twice. Ooh, Summerstone. It's green. It's like a pretty... I love Summerstone. There's a corpse! Can I get to it? I can't get to it without going in the water. Screw it. However, stuff. Including quillback leather, which I shouldn't get for another few levels yet. Okay, so while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to swap around my abilities here. That's the one I was looking for. Put that back where it goes. And then we can put the Mark of the Rift... I don't know, here. I guess. And then move stealth here. Well. Or I could put that there and then put the two instances I have of Evade in the right on the same button. Okay. Next. Blue Bitch Rail. Give. Uh, da, 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 da. That's... I got used to my stealth being on that button. Well, I will also get used to this. So much Blood Lotus. Okay. So, did all that nonsense. I don't think there's really much of anything else until the next beacon, so I should get back on the, back on the path here. La 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 la. Ah, bog fishers. Yeah.
see how this goes this time. I'm proud of myself. I managed to get all the way through the Fallow Mire the last time I played without pissing off any bog fishers, and then I got to the Frostbacks in the Jaws of Hakon DLC and immediately pissed all of them off, which was uh, disappointing. That was a bit of a challenge. But I mean, you know, by that point in the game, it wasn't too bad. It was just, uh, you know. Oh god, oh god, don't kill me. Blackwall, why do you... You're gonna lose your guard if you do that, aren't you? We'll leave you with your guard for now. Alright, here we go. You! Get back here. God damn it. Thank you, Dory. Sheesh. And we go around. Examine. Strong feelings of bitterness and arrogance in equal measure. It's interesting watching you, Dorian. The way you carry yourself when you use magic. I am very good at the whole magic thing. No, it's not that. You find joy in it, not shame, and it shows. Why be ashamed? Power should be respected, not swept under the carpet. Something we southerners need to learn, perhaps? <laughs> Maybe you're not a complete moron. You were having a moment, now you've ruined it. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, <laughs> they, they, they did give Blackwall some really good lines. <laughs> Like I said, his the my favorite line in the entire game is his. So, what can one gray warden do? Save the fucking world if pressed. That is my favorite line. Probably in any Dragon Age game ever. So, I can't I can't really get too snotty about Blackwall. I mean, I could, but camp Let's go to camp, guys. Okay. There's the path. Look, stuff. Give me the stuff. Way. And into a lovely like little clearing. Camp. It's a fantastic place to camp. In the Fallow Mire. Yeah, as good a place as any is a better way to put it. Because there are no good places in the Fallow Mire. I'm not changing my party. How dare you suggest such a thing? Okay. Nope. Coin of the Avar who want to challenge me, or the Inquisition's soldiers. They better be fine. And the ones who took them, they won't be. Blue Vitriol, give. Fox, give. No. 
Ah, yes. The Rift. The Daughters of Song. miss something in this goofy little cabin. There's like six things in here. Okay. The Rift with Skywatcher. So, you're Herald of Andraste. Hey, dude. My kin want you dead, Lowlander, but it's not my job. No fears from me. Why aren't you with the other Avar? Trying to figure out this hole in the world. Never seen anything like it's like. They spit out angry spirits. Endless. What the sky's trying to tell us? I don't know. They're caused by the breach in the sky. It was some kind of magic gone wrong. I know that, Lowlander. I'm talking about the Lady of the Skies. Do you not know her? Can't you see the warning she writes through the bird flocks in the air? You use the patterns of flocking birds as an augury, then? We don't use them. They're sent. You see it, or you don't. I thought the Avar wanted to fight me. Our chieftain's son wants to fight you. I'm called him when the dead pile up. Rights to the gods. Mending for the bleeding. A dagger for the dying. That's what I do. I don't pick up a blade for a whelp's trophy hunt. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> The other of our kidnapped an Inquisition patrol. Are they all right? A few were injured in the skirmish, but they were alive. Last I saw them. Someone's trained them well. They killed more of us than I thought they would. Yeah. Farewell then. Watch the water. I mean, that's not really a good thing when you're talking to a nice guy, but no. They don't know yet. Alright, let's take care of this shit. Let's go, guys! Uh, I'm not dealing with a corpse archer. Bigger problems first. Demon. I don't know if this was the point, but the rage demons kind of resemble cobras with arms. It's interesting. We will do no such thing, Dorian. We got this. We're good. Sorry to cut you off, Blackwall. Our Herald. That's... that's... Mm. This might be... this might be the one where I start liking Blackwall because he's apparently incredibly supportive. So, I don't know. We'll see. In the meantime... Is that just the requisition? Yeah. Okay. I don't care about the requisition officer. Sorry, lady. Uh, and then I feel like... I feel like there was a landmark down here. And then the main direction is... Yeah, the main direction's over here. So we'll go this way to begin with. Uh... 
No, no, that's the path. There we go. Nothing. Undead. Oh no, not undead, Avar. I was gonna say get back here, but uh, no need. <coughs> Quite a smell. Oh, they're all slimy. Dead bodies. Apparently, also plague ridden dead bodies, so. No. Lotus, or Dawn Lotus. Dawn Lotus, the other one. <sighs> what? It, oh my god, it just, it just times out and respawns? I thought it only respawns when you're like when you leave the area and go back to it. Remarkable. I learned a thing. Okay. Oh. Of course there's a bear. Why would there not be a bear? Okay. Oh. I should, uh, fix that. Okay. Here we go. Get the thing. Granite point. Loot the things. And bear. Bear, 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 bear. didn't drop anything. What a shame. Nope, found a dire campsite. Warden scout armor. Well, that would be awesome if any of my rogues were not wearing crafted armor. <laughs> Though, then again, I do have to equip Cole with something. I will still probably make him something. Can't have him running around half clad. Or half protected, I guess. Guys. I gotta climb down. I should just, like, have them hold the position if I need to climb a ladder. But then I would have to turn it off. So. Okay, so we want to go... That's just where the corpses were, so we want to go all the way back here, I think. Stealth this sucker!
Did I seriously just miss with the grappling hook? Man. I can't figure you out, Sarah. That's a surprise, isn't it? <laughs> you just picked up a bow one day and poof! Expert marksman. A veritable savant. A what? A savant. A natural. Meaning you needed no training. Not your business if I do or didn't. Like I don't ask if you naturally shoot fireballs out your ass or just opinions. I'll <laughs> keep that in mind. I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> I love Sarah. I mean, I love Dorian too, but that that that's a good one. That's not what I was going to say. Note to self, turn and look next time. Tends to help you aim. <coughs> Both eyes open. Alright. Loot the stuff. I don't know why I'm doing this now. I'm going to have to do this again in three seconds when I beat the demons. But... Right, and there were two. Oh, I forgot. Okay. This is the rough one. Yeah. Fuck you. Sarah! Oh, fuck. Alright, it's fine. It's fine. Most of terror. Kill. Die. Ugh. Dorian is okay, I promise. Is Blackwell like Team Dad? Is he is he is he the team dad that I have been designating uh Varric because Varric is like Cole's dad effectively. He's like no, this one is mine. I have adopted him. There we go. Veilfire and the fellow Meyer. Some kind of plant, somehow important. That's not particularly descriptive. Okay, thanks. Cool, fine, whatever. Ouch. Okay. Yep. Alright, so luckily the beacons are fast travel points because I need to go re-equip some stuff back at camp. So I'm going to do that now. Hit my potion table here. Replenish all. And who else is with me? Sarah. And Dorian definitely needs these. And Blackwall. Yeah, like I said, if he's if he's team dad, I may I may end up liking him more than I initially expected. I always like team dad. Okay. Um I also seem to remember that the um the rift over here is murder. So 
I'm going to save real quick. Oh, I haven't saved yet on this entire map. Yes. Okay. Now I have. Gonna pick up some stuff. Gonna come in here and see how bad it is. And then I'm probably gonna about face because I am a squishy level 10 and I think this is a level 12 rift. Uh, this is also the one with the revenant. Yeah, yeah. This is a level 12 rift with a revenant. And... I gotta try. I gotta try. This is gonna go very badly, but I'm gonna try anyway. Well, fuck you. Okay. Oh, the tree is on fire. Let's see how this goes. Okay, we're gonna... Dorian. Dorian, thank you. We're gonna go. Come back later! I'm out! Okay. Sometimes, uh, discretion is the better part of valor. Dorian, Dorian, that was late. Thank you, dear. Okay, so that rift will be later. We're gonna, we're gonna go. That was like extra murder. It is not the Herald. It's the Herald's friends. Surprise, motherfucker! Man. I can only go so fast. There. We're good. of Barinjur, which you can also hear about from Solus, if I remember correctly. I think part of the reason I like Solus so much is that he's basically a walking encyclopedia of Dragon Age lore. I love characters like that, and also story. Can I loot you from here, or do I have to get in the water? I have to get in the water. I'm not doing that. Uh, you know, I say I'm not doing that. But I might have to. Because I think... Did I go the wrong... No, this is definitely where I need to be going. I just can't continue on without hitting water, I guess. Blah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Fine. We'll loot the bodies. This can really only get so much worse.
Thanks, bro. I can't wait until I can get some ranged abilities. Alright. What it fucking Wraith respawn. Am I to tell me there's another camp? There's not another camp here, is there? Oh, do I want to go to the next beacon? This is getting to be a little rough. This is a uh... This is a lot. Oh yeah. That's rough. Okay. Oh no, tell me that's not. Tell me there's no bombs. Way back. No, I haven't gotten to it yet. Okay, good. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. Dorian! There's three fucking bug fishers over there. I don't know what to do with this, cause I can't get them without player character going in the water. Which is rather a pain. Okay. Are we good? We're good for now. There's four bog fishers over there. Uh and there's a corpse in the cabin. If I remember correctly, it's entirely possible that I don't. wasn't the one with the corpse. Thank fuck. Because that means Great I'm not going to end up with four bog fishers. That sounds interesting. It's not easy finding people willing to shoulder such a terrible responsibility. Here I thought you poked around prisons, hunting for murderers, desperate to escape the noose. That's what you think of wardens. It's not such a terrible thing. Some of my best friends are murderers. They are men and women <laughs> atoning for what they've done by giving of themselves. They fight for people like you, people in silks and velvets, who talk and judge. Who's judging now? I know your kind. Oh my god. Ooh, boy. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that the, uh, the Grey Warden would be so judgy, would ya? Grey Warden. Okay, I don't think I'm going to make it to this next beacon if I don't go get some more potions and shit. Because that, that last rift was uh, pretty rough. You know, the one I didn't actually close. Give Dorian his last one. And come back to this beacon. Worry about that rift later. Once I've gained another level or two. Because, like, yikes. That's one of the only rifts I can never get done in my first go-around. It's like there's that one and there's 
a couple in the hinterlands because obviously you know you get you get through the hinterlands at like level six and there's a level 12 rift you're gonna die already damaged. That wraith had low health when I got there. I wonder if I got struck by lightning. Stealth it up. Take out these Avar. Surprise! Surprise, motherfucker. That's such a, an ominous name. Diseased tissue. We do need to... I can't get it without going into the water. Uh, that's fine. enough to that one. Nope. Okay. Last beacon. No. That one. There we go. Hey, do Solid. Is back to the shore. Sound strategy. <laughs> Blackwell comments on a strategy. Bull's like, great, can't wait to use it. I love that line. Bull is apparently squeamish about undead, which is uh, hilarious to me. It's 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 funny. There's this big scary Kunari mercenary, and he's the one that's like. Corpses? Ugh. Demons? Ugh. He's not down for that shit. Meanwhile, you know, as much as Blackwell is making fun of Dorian for, you know, being a snooty to venture noble, Dorian's the one that's always like, I got this, but if the weather's foul, you know. Alright. 
save because last beacon. And then from here, it should be a path to our people. Though, I think there's something... I think there's a fork in the path up ahead. We'll see. Because I remember I've gotten turned around once or twice over here. Yep. There's the fork. I may as well look. It's always worth looking. I'm not complaining, but I am a little confused as to why I keep randomly getting light healing in the fallow mire. I'm a little confused. Oh yeah, these guys! This is the this is the one where there's corpses hidden in cabins that I forget to expect there. Get stuck in the doorway. There we go. Cause like by this by this late on this map, I'm like, yeah, I'm almost done. There's nothing left, and then I'm wrong. of power for whom dragon piss the name is probably figurative but no one knows for sure okay nothing much what did I miss over here rock. Um, no. Screw it. Go back and get our people. I think we've got enough for a mad dash back to the castle here. That still confuses me. No, no. Fuck you, Wraith. Someone help We're leaving. Sarah. We're leaving. One enemy is not worth stopping for. Alright. Corpse. Okay. Yeah. Here we go. Mad dash to the castle. More undead! Don't waste time on them. Head for the castle. We got this. They're not even gonna see me. These bastards. I don't think I've ever heard them announce their hold before. No. Oh, shit. Right. Ignore the corpses. They're 
you're not gonna help you at this point. No, no, Blackwell, keep going, it's okay. Oh, already, huh? Lord. Back here. Indulge me, Sarah. What do you think of when I say demon? Arrows. Fine. Magister? Arrows. Not helpful, but given our history, I'll accept it. Formaturgy. What? <laughs> Magical endeavors. Helpful <laughs> wonders. Oh. Arrows. You asked, Dorian. Get in there yet. Let's do this first so he doesn't feel the need to diminish our potion supply immediately. Given nightmare mode, we might need a couple. Ah, yes, I should also save. So I don't have to go back to ten minutes ago. Always safe before the big fight. Herald of Andraste! Face me! I am the hand of Korth himself! Face me yourself, you coward. Don't make your people fight me. Oh, fuck. Face me yourself, coward, said this squishy rogue. So he's not kicking my ass from behind the whole time. That would be good. The other guy's gonna have his work cut out for him as it is. So we're gonna do this real quick. Alright, hand of Korth. Let's go, motherfucker.
do that first. Shit. gonna say black will come back but we're we're good that worked out oh that's why I'm like why are they not coming up because there's other guys I gotta take down Right. That was a that was a Grey Warden thing. I never have Blackwall in my party. I forget where those are. Let's get in this door. Hey guys. Herald of Andraste. I dealt with the Avar. You're safe. Is everyone all right? Yes, Your Worship. The injured need some rest, but we can return on our own. Yay. I can't believe the Herald came for us. I told you he wouldn't leave us. You're welcome. They love me so much already. They shouldn't. Kind of tells you exactly how much of a symbol the Inquisitor already is. Or the Herald, if you will. Wasn't there more stuff? Oh well. I remember that's this guy. Hi! Your god looks after you, Harold. Or something. There lies the brat. His father, chief of our holding, would duel me for the loss if he cared enough. The Inquisition has a purpose your chief lacks. Is this why the Lady of the Skies let me here? To help heal the wounds in her scheme. Aye. I'll join you. Let me make peace with my kid and I'll find where you set your flag. Yay, new ally. And this is what I mean by the fallow mire not taking a very long time. Honestly, the most interesting part of the Fallow Mire is when you go back for that one rift, but I'm not doing that today because it is still... There's there's still a level 12 um, revenant between me and that rift, so I will come back to that another day, but um, that is behind a locked door that I can't open yet, and that's apostate widris there and or apprentice widris whatever um so i will come back to the fallow mire another time i think what i'm going to do now i'm going to close a couple of rifts in the hinterlands and then call the stream done um that one's still probably too too much what is that Hinterlands artifacts. Okay. I I suppose I can do that because that's these are right next to camps. Um two rifts down here, that's right. Okay. 
going to start up here, close that rift, and then come down and do the rift at Dwarfson's Pass, because I think that one's a level 8, and that one will be incredibly easy uh, at, this, at this point, given the given the fact that I'm running around with a level 10 party. Nug! I love, I love the art for the Nugs. They're so cute in the art, and then they've got creepy little hands. I don't know if any of you have seen what a Himalayan skinny pig looks like, but I'm telling you, it is just like a Nug, except their hands are less creepy. They don't have creepy little raccoon hands or nug hands or whatever. They they just have little guinea pig paws. But they're hairless. And they look just like nugs. It is the weirdest thing. I've knew, sir. Like part of me wants one just so I can name it after a Dragon Age nug. Except I'm also allergic to what they eat, not just the guinea pig fur. So that uh might not help. Right, Callan has a foothold. Should we look around? Yeah, yeah. Because this is scrolls. Maps of the I deep roads. I think the Inquisition could benefit from this. I think you're saying that because you're glad that I found you a thing. Okay. Switch gears for a second here. No. Take care of this rift, because I remember this one is not so bad. I could be wrong, of course. I could always be wrong. Or see. No. What? Okay. Sure. Uh, okay. Or, um, no. 8 to 11. We got this. We got this. It's not everything is level 12 like the other one. It's fine. Son of a bitch. All right, fine. Can I reach? Bonus! Trying to be smart. Ruining my strategy by being tough instead. Oh shit. How? 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 Why are you so squishy, Larry? Ah. Well, that might have 
have something to do with it. Faster. Fuck. Okay. Okay. It's fine. This might interest you, sir. Okay. We're gonna no. We're gonna bounce on up to the potion table in here. We're gonna make sure everybody has their regeneration potions replenished. Not that it's gonna make that big of a difference, but it oh, might be big enough. And then I suppose he already leveled, right? So I might be able to get him... Nope. Buttons. There we go. Uh, not yet. Because I only have one point to find. Your critical hits... Hey, though. Who else has got an extra point that I wasn't saving for specializations? Right, he's got the champion specialization. Those are, those are, that one's a really good one. Uh, super fast or freeze the dudes. Let's, let's freeze the dudes. Or I could do both, I suppose. She's got two points. Let's, let's do both. Dorian. Horror. Required first thing. Damage bonus versus panicked. Or death siphon. Death siphon. Okay. Yes. Now we can save. Alright. Horse. I'm gonna try to close that rift one more time. See how this goes. If not, I can just come back to this another time. But this is this is probably gonna be the last thing before I uh, sign off here. Gotta get ready for work again. Like I said, I'm kind of still in the middle of a 13-day work week, so this is a little bit of a rough week, but not a bad week, just a very, very, very long, tough week. So. Fade Rift at Dwarfson's Pass. Take two. Nobody's rushing me this time. Oh, I love my stealth 
Redskins. Hey, asshole, I'm behind you. At least don't get the mage. Yeah, all right. I got pretty close last time. I was most of the way through that last one. All right. Rifts at Dwarfson's Pass completed. I can probably get through. I cannot kill the dragon yet. That is not going to be today. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. I can probably get through at least one of the two rifts in Hafter's Woods. And I can pick up that other Grey Warden artifact that Blackwell's probably losing his shit over. I'm gonna have, like, max approval with him by halfway through the game. This is weird. Improved stability operation available. Wow. That was fast. I remember that one. That one is supposed to Perhaps be... Perhaps um, we should search about a bit. You go back to the war table, and they tell you that there's some shit, and you go, sure, yeah, let's let's fix up some shit, and Solus is like, hey, there's this other rift this in the hinterlands. Okay. There's one in Simeon's Cave and one down here. This one, I think, is honestly the simpler one. Uh, that one might be an average of level 8. So that one might suck less, so we're going to go there first. Uh, well. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay. Weak ankle, strong heart. Avoid the bear. I don't want to deal with the bear. Not right now. I can't get up here, can I? Nope. No bear. No bear. <laughs> Historically, bears and I do not get along. There we go. There's the stupid little shrine. I... I forgot how gigantic that plateau was. Alright. Twelve. Okay. Alright. I could be wrong. I could be wrong a lot. This is fine. Let's see how this goes. Okay. Going well, hush. We got this. Fuck. Let's let's wake the Inquisitor, please. Yeah. Oh, all right. Holy shit! Already? All right. Sure, I guess. Alright. 
Fuck this rift a little bit. Alright. Yeah. Not what I was going for, but okay. This is fine. This is fine. What it... No. Dorian, I have a really good idea. How about revive Sarah, please? Dorian, run! <laughs> okay, let's see if I can get both without... Yeah! Alright, I couldn't do that again if I tried. Sweet, okay. This is... Fuck. Alright. That, that, that could have gone better. It's fine. It's fine, we got this. I can do this, we got this. We don't got this. <laughs> okay. Alright, I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave that rift where it is. I'm gonna give the other one in Simeon's Cave a shot, unless it's significantly worse than I remember. Like that one was, because that was significantly worse than I remember. Um... We're gonna try that one, unless it is also mostly level 12. That could definitely... that... that... that could have gone better. Um, so hopefully uh, this week I will have a little bit more time to get in some off-screen, or off-stream I should say, gaming. Uh, this, this past week I really didn't have time to do much of anything. So, um, this time I'm going to see if I can't get in some in-between stuff. Setting up Skyhold, none of it, all the, all the shit nobody wants, nobody cares about on screen. Um, okay. We're gonna we're gonna go as far as the entrance to the cave and we're gonna see how bad this is. How bad is this? Twelve. Uh can't tell because of this cave. Twelve, yeah. And then there's desire demons later. I think I think this is uh not right now is what I think. We're gonna go. We're gonna go. Um, so I got through, we're not doing that, I got through a little bit more, um, closed, closed one more rift in the hinterlands, um, these demons are clever, Widris, yeah, that's gonna be later, there's one more rift in the mire, um, most of what I've got right now requires me to go back to the war table. Um, so, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to end up doing in between streams, but I'm sure I can find something small to do. Um, lots of lots of war table missions to do, for example. Um, I can probably get that uh, Deft Hands Fine Tools ability so that I can unlock a couple of doors in the Hinterlands and that one in the Fallow Mire, get Blackwall his final uh, thing from the Fallow Mire, um, and then I try to save most of the character interactions for streams, but um, yeah, one more map down. Um, I am gonna try really hard to actually stream on Friday this time. 
I am probably not going to be streaming tomorrow. Um, I promise I will try to get on Twitter and uh, let you guys know if that is or is not happening this time. Um, but Friday, Friday is my next day off, so uh, this time it will probably be a little bit easier. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go make lunch and get ready for work. I will see you guys soon. Thanks for hanging out.